so we're at Barnes and Noble for the bus fest, but we're kind of late, but I don't know where anything is. I want my boyfriend. Say hello. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> okay, let's try to find it because now we're just walking around the store looking crazy. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. They're having a midnight release party for it, actually. Can anyone take this? Do the video blogger? Um, I am. I heard about you. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm Mara. I just finished signing up. Oh, cool. Well, well I'm India. Um, do you have a card or anything? So I actually, I'm I do. I accidentally turned the camera off, but basically, this lady. I was a book blogger because I had obviously the camera. And so she was like, you know, I'm always looking for people to review books. She was the marketing director for some company. Maybe that'll be something good. Maybe I'll have more books to review for my channel. But seriously, where is the event? Rob got a Shadow Hunter sticker, I think. I noticed a symbol from a TV show that I watched. It's probably Shadow Hunters, the TV show. Yeah, it was. Really? You watch Shadow Hunters? I, I didn't know that. Thing. I watched the whole thing. On you know, it's a whole like two book series about that. It's it's a uh, movie too. It started as a movie. I didn't know that. Yeah, and oh. then they made it into a TV series. Excuse me. Blogging in a bookstore is weird because it's so quiet in here. Look at this new rules for men <laughs> rule number 67 nobody wants to hear about your hangover teen books i have that that's the only book i have on this whole shelf oh no i have that one still haven't found the event they said it started at two i feel like we bought around this whole bookstore oh 2 30. so it's like an intermission type Rob, maybe you should try graphic novels. We're trying to get Rob to start reading. He started reading Ugly Love last night and he, he said he liked it. If we find you a Spider-Man graphic novel, will you read it? So I guess we're just walking around until things resume at 2.30. I really want to buy a book, but I think I have enough willpower to not buy one. Hopefully. Found a book Rob might be interested in. Black, Black Top. I told you you need to read All American Boys. That's probably something that you would love. Look, this is the book that goes with that sticker that you got. Oh, I but I know you're not trying to read that. I will read it. The worst thing to me is you shut up. I like that uh, TV show. Well, you gotta start. It's like a thousand books. You gotta start with City of Bones. You gotta go all the way here. We can read them together because I haven't read any of those. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. I'm gonna buy a city of. I'm gonna buy us both city of bones. Yeah. You need to get that series. See, I've never now. read it. Are you vlogging? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Yes. Are you a vlogger? Um, I'm starting to. I already have a couple of YouTube videos up. Yeah. What's your channel name? Um, that nerdy kitten. Are you gonna blog about books? I'm gonna vlog about everything, everything and anything. That nerdy mm -hmm. kitten. I'm gonna follow you. Okay. I'll awesome. Go. What's your? I'll follow you when you follow me. Okay, uh, it's books and big hair. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> definitely following that because I'm a bookworm. Yes. But yes, you need so to City read of that Bones. series. I've been waiting for that book for freaking ever. <laughs> and when it came out, I remember I was watching her page, Cassandra Clare. I was watching her page. And I was like, it's gonna come out. It's gotta come out. And it came out, and I was like, I'm getting it. It's. I'm excited because I like big books. The bigger they are, the better they are. In mm -hmm. my opinion. That's they true. Never end. That's true. And I don't want them to end. And with a good writer like that, you're. It's a page turner. Oh, I have been literally tying my hands behind my back not to read it because it's sitting on my bedside table. Why are you? Oh, you're not. Because I'm saving waiting? it for my beach trip. Oh, okay. Because I want to read it on the beach. Ooh. But, um, if you haven't read the first one, read it. And read City of Bones. And then go that to... one connects to the last one, and it won't make a lot of sense unless you read the others. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. Yeah. Well, you've convinced me because I've been thinking about it for a while. I'm like, mm, I don't know. Well, you'll enjoy it. Okay. You'll enjoy it. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, more the instruments first. So all these are separate series. Yeah. This no. This is the this is one series, and then this, and then this is the next book. Like you have to start here with the mortal instruments. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the internal device. I mean the infernal devices. One, two, three, and then it goes there. So we're gonna start reading it. You should have. You should never tell me you like the TV show. 
I watched the movie, the show. I'm ready for this. I got this reserved at the library. What crown? The crown. It's the last book in a princess series. You know me. I'm a princess. You're looking at basketball books. I've oh. noticed. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We found out that Rob likes the Shadow Hunters series. So we're about to start reading the Mortal Instruments. And then we're gonna take it from there. Rob watches a lot of crazy fantasy stuff like on TV. But if he like knew that a lot of that stuff came from books, they have the same type of tropes or whatever, he would be a bookworm like me. Biggie. Biggie, 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 can't you see? I heard this was good, we probably midnight. Henry Biggie Abbott. That looks good. Yeah. I haven't even heard of that. Let me see. Henry Biggie Abbott. Blah, blah, blah. What? I'm putting this back. He has 300 girlfriends across the country. You didn't even read it, so you judged it. You judged <laughs> I the judged the book by its cover. You literally judged the book by its cover. Oh, he's 300 pounds. I thought I said he had 300 girlfriends. No, it's that too. Oh, he has dozens of girlfriends, but he's 300. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, this sounds good. Why have I not heard of this yet? Have y'all heard of this? Let me know if y'all have. One day we can see one of my books here. Oh, there's more books over here. Oh no, we hit the jackpot. Look, there's City of Bones right there. Right in the front. <laughs> We had a jackpot because this is the paperback section. Yeah, this is it. For real? Yeah. We're going to read exactly it. I'm going to see if they have it on book outlet though because it'll be cheaper on there. I can't believe I found a book that Rob is going to like. This, I will read this for real. Once upon a time? What? Open it. i never even seen this book before. This book, y'all, y'all know I'm scared to read like certain books. I would never read The Merciless. Look at the cover. Look at the back. No, look at the back. I'm all right. <laughs> you would be scared to read this. I wouldn't be scared to read it. I just don't mess with stuff like that. See? It's like a certain, it's a certain type of scary that I feel like everybody has their limit on what the type of scary that they can do. And that is mine. It's not like it's, I would think it's scary. But you feel like you don't have no business messing yeah. with that type of stuff. <laughs> no, I feel you. Like exorcisms and like kind of devilish stuff. I don't want to invite that type of energy into my home. Oh, they got the fifth wave. You like the fifth wave? Okay, I have a better idea of what you like now. This is a good idea, bringing you here. Now I know what kind of books you like. About how like I never finish puzzles because I get so frustrated. Look at this. How in the world can you finish a puzzle like this? Everybody in this picture looks the same. <laughs> it's just sand and people that look alike. It's free. We're back at this table and I'm gonna take one of everything. Rainbow round coloring book. Oh no, it's not a coloring book, it's a coloring thing. <gasps> Morgan Madsen! I told Rob he needs to, I said, because he was saying how cool this was, the illustrated version of the social stone. And I said he could get it for me. But he said, he was like, how many, how many Harry Potter books do you need? Like, I already have two copies of Harry Potter and the social stone. And I was just saying how, like, I wanted, the, when I wanted to order the paperback version again, I wanted these in paperback. But I was like, that's kind of childish because I already have all of these in hardback. So it's like the same cover. Come on. Look, Harry Potter coloring book. Look, that's what I have. But this is cool though. I would like this. And they got shirts. Now I called. Well, they must have just got these because I remember calling to see if they had shirts for um, y'all fast. Well, guys, um, we're about to leave the bookstore. We didn't even really make the event, but we did get a lot of free stuff, which I will probably haul in another video. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. But thank y'all for tuning to my channel, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Say bye, Rob. Bye. <laughs>